Well, hello there, and welcome to episode 17 of Hugh Talk, uh, my own personal little IGTV series that I started here during the lockdown to send out lots of encouragement and enthusiasm and positive vibes in your direction and hopefully entertain you along the way as well. And uh, this episode you're going to find interesting because it's a direct follow on from episode 15 when I was talking about my tarot card readings. And I did a little general reading for you guys as well. Got some great feedback to that. A lot of people really, it, the general reading resonated with them. And thank you all for your very kind words and positive feedback. So this episode um, uh, features some clips that I didn't use in that episode. Just because, you know, it was already, I think, seven, eight, nine minutes long, I think, by the time I was done. Originally had 20 minutes of footage. So I took some of that footage out of there because I'm talking in detail. Things that I think, if you like anything behind the scenes, and you're going to like this. Because I'm talking about the process of doing the cards the difference between my deck and a standard tarot card deck the different sp card spreads that we use you know, the, the, the process of what I do when I'm shuffling and how we pick out the cards and then I'm also going to share with you um, the various different uh, other decks that I use so you can get an idea kind of insight into to my kind of uh, style of, of readings that I do and the different decks that I prefer to use and uh, I think I think you're going to enjoy this it's definitely going to keep you entertained so I'm going to start off here talking about this general process of, of doing the readings and the difference between my Osho Zen tarot deck and a standard tarot card deck so Hugh I mean me I mean whatever Hugh take it away <laughs> So the process of, of doing uh, card readings, there are a variety of different um, types of, you know, there's some people would call the standard tarot card reading from a standard tarot card deck. This uh, card deck is based on that original tarot card deck, but it's much more spiritual in nature. Um, and it's less um, heavy on prediction. Uh, of the future and it's more about going inward and encouraging the person you're doing the reading for to go inside and, and, and think about things on a spiritual and uh, level and so um, some people would say that this readings that I do are a little bit more like an angel oracle card reading and that may be true um, I just they're Hugh readings you know for me they're they're unique and I've had so many incredible experiences doing um the cards readings that um you, you do become confident you, you trust it because it's, it's not me like oh I've got some magic pairs although I do but that's a separate video um we all do actually but um uh but um Basically, you know, when you're doing the cards, you're just kind of trusting your intuition and your instinct in the cards that you pick out. And um, and you start to realize you're allowing, you know, some higher power to come through you. And it's the energy of you and trusting your intuition, the energy of the other person and this um, other energy that's coming through you. That's where the magic lies. It's not in me, look at me and all my magic tricks. Um, this is basically just me allowing that, that spirit to come through. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the various uh, decks that I use when I'm doing readings. I sometimes mix the different decks together. It's a very common thing that, that uh, people who do readings uh, do. And um, it's just interesting when you mix up the different decks and how they can resonate with, with one another. Um, and I think you're, you're going to enjoy uh, checking them out. So here we go. Here's the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards, as you can see by uh, Tori Hartman. And these are some very beautiful cards. Each card is connected to a different chakra. Um, I was just drawn to this. I was looking at different decks online and this one just, just popped out at me. As you can see, very, very beautifully laid out. And this, um, like the other um, uh, decks, has a booklet here and it has notes on each of the different cards which you use along with your reading. The other decks I have here are more, these are more kind of inspirational uh, decks. The first one is called The Universe Has Your Back by uh, Gabrielle Bernstein. It's also a spiritual uh, author. And you can see some beautiful cards here. Very simple little messages, uh, but powerful messages that come through here. Very, very beautiful cards. And sometimes I just pick those out individually for different thoughts uh, for the day. Or sometimes I'll add one of these cards into a reading if somebody wants it. And the other deck that I have here is the um, Law of Attraction cards. Uh, which was actually created by um, Esther and Jerry Hicks uh, and they of course are 
the ones who brought us Abraham Hicks, who's my uh, personal favorite uh, spiritual speaker. And these ones are specifically about the law of attraction and specifically about uh, finances and money. And um, again, these are individual cards that I pick out sometimes in addition to uh, a reading that I'm doing uh, with the other decks. And um, also I just pick out cards for myself every day as well, just to kind of, you know, keep these uh, thoughts. So, Mr. Lahan, could you explain to us um, the various spreads that you have for doing tarot card readings? And there's various different spreads you can do. So, I pick three cards, five cards, there's one called a Celtic Cross, there's all kinds of different uh, spreads. There's one where you take each sign of the zodiac um, and you pick a card for each one and there's a particular meaning for each one of those. I've done a few of those, very, very powerful readings. Wow. That's a, it takes, takes a little bit of time to do that, but a very, very extraordinary experience. And could you enlighten us into um, your process with shuffling the cards and how you choose them? Well, first of all, you, you're, you're putting your energy into the cards like this and positive thoughts as you're, as you're, um, as you're uh, shuffling the deck. So that's the first part. The second part, when you're picking out cards, for me personally, I just look at it and I feel my intuition is calling me to a particular card. Finally, Mr. Lahan, do you enjoy these readings? Um, what is the experience for you? I love it. I, ha I have so much fun doing it. People enjoy it, get a positive experience from it. Um, it's just, there's, there's no negative to it at all. Fascinating, Mr. Lahan. Fascinating. <laughs> there you go, my friends. Having a little bit of fun there with myself. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the episode. Um, I, I had fun making this episode and, and uh, I hope you enjoy getting those little insights into the card readings. I'm excited about future episodes I'm going to be making. I've got a lot of new content and new exciting ideas I have for uh, expanding the show and making it more interesting and maybe getting some of you guys involved as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I hope you're all doing well. I know it's going on for a long time now and uh, we're all getting a little fed up with it, but we're almost there. I think we're over the hump of it now and uh, and hopefully over the next couple of weeks it's going to start easing up for all of us. So look, I have nothing but love for you all. I'm sending that love to you right now, sending all those positive energies. Stay strong, people. It's not a question of hashtag we will get through this. It's, a, it's now hashtag we are getting through this.